In this video, I try to make a robotic Etch-a-Sketch. I start out with this cheap CNC controller, and these two NEMA 17 stepper motors. The first thing that I need to do is remove the original knobs. They're easy to remove as they are just press fit. After that, I take measurements of both shafts. Luckily, they are almost identical in size. Here is a simple part that I threw together in Fusion 360. The motor side matches the shape of the shaft as it isn't round, and the edge of sketch side is keyed. After jamming it on, I'm not sure I needed keyways. Oh well. Next, I printed off some holders to keep the motors from freely spinning while they are active. Here you can see that it is easy to remove and replace the motor. Now I glue the motor holders on permanently with hot glue. Now you can see why the motors are removable. When removed, it makes the Etch-a-Sketch much, much easier to shake. Now I plug in the wires to the X and Y axes of the board. Here I am using Kira and CNCJS. Make sure that your 2D shape is only one layer high. You should be able to move the edge of sketch with the computer now. The CNC board just gave out on me. Seriously? I tried everything, but it is just dead. I tried swapping stepper drivers and power supplies, but nothing worked. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Maybe it was for the best because this thing can't even draw very well. I think the best application for this would be stop motion, where you draw a frame, shake, and draw another. But if you aren't doing stop motion, humans are way better than my robot anyway. Take a look at some of these drawings. The only person that would want the art from my machine is hotels. They would probably love to get some of it on their room's walls. If you're a hotel owner, get in touch. All jokes aside, thank you for 100 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment more video ideas down below.